The first See? time yesterday was actually I'd put a post out about you, but the reason being is because I didn't know what you were like. The first podcast, I'm thinking, fuck, man, I need to step back from this kid, man. He's a fucking crackpot. I'm going yeah. to go on his second podcast. He's actually okay. And then I seen you out in videos, and I used to always think, when am I going to get outed? That's what I used to think. So I used but to, James, look, I no, think I, I did. I know, but I can only reassure you so many times. Yeah, like, I know, but I, I think I've sent you messages and, and, and sort of said, yeah. your boss, kid, James, yeah. fucking don't worry. I'm never going to do anything towards you. I've come up here three times by myself. I've got in your car. You've accommodated me and not one thing has ever happened to me. Not one little negative glitch or, hang on, he might have set me up. It, all yeah. this bullshit. So that's in the trust. The way you treat me when I'm here, you feed me well, you, you speak to me right. It is what it is, la. Yeah, because you're coming to the Ayahuasca one, I, I'd put a post out who was coming. People were like, where the fuck's Dan G? And I, but we'd already spoke, you never had your passport. Well, for, at the, hopefully, at the end of, the, well, it's all done. I just need someone... Uh, to sign and then I've got the passport so yeah. it is what it is so you're so on board for Ayahuasca I'm on board with yeah. you if you want me to be there I'll yeah, be there. there there's some people coming into the podcasting area now that are worth watching aren't they yeah like um, who's the kid with the glass eye oh Marvin Herbert has his explosive now he's explosive yeah do you understand what yeah. I mean so if you look at every interview that this Marvin's had mm -hmm. he's explosive and I've said to people you can't change in two years, but you can. Mm -hmm. He's not changed in the sense of who he is. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. This is my opinion. Yeah. He's changed in the sense of what he's done and what he's doing now. So it's still Marvin, like I'm still Darren. Mm -hmm. I've still got this mindset, but the mindset's focused on the positive things for the youth yeah. and making a difference in his mm -hmm. community because... You can only embrace the damage you've done when you're looking at it the way I've looked at it and the way he's looking at it. It's going to be explosive. I, yeah. think, I think I referred to that podcast yeah. earlier on and, and basically that's the one I was on yeah. about. I'm on about mm -hmm. this Marvin podcast yeah. where he's where he's got this Sam Atwood, um, Sean. Sean Atwood in the fucking, uh, in the hot seat. Mm -hmm. In the hot seat. Yeah. So it is what it is. You're going to mm -hmm. see this little fucking rapper exactly what he is on the back of, get onto Marvin's podcast and watch it because I'm waiting for it. On the back of you giving me that opportunity of a podcast, without you understanding or realising, you have indirectly helped thousands of young men just by giving me that platform and helping me promote my message and helping me penetrate the minds of the youth and the masses. That's your way of fucking... Do you yeah. that, that's the good yeah, you're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Listen, I know I, I've changed I, thousands yeah. of lives mm -hmm. and I wouldn't have if you never come into the picture. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you've all had an absolute belter. So, this year's already started off with drama, handbags. Um, Dan G, something I never thought I would speak about or out, but needs must. His mouth is vile. Um, he talks a lot of pish, if I'm honest. But I will stand my ground. If somebody's bold enough to try and tarnish my name and my reputation, then trust me, I'm going to be bold enough to fight for it. This isn't fucking Sean Atwood, he's out. And, yeah, it's a lot of people, nobody respond. I'm responding. Let's get a few things right. Let's get the facts right. Do you know what I mean? Because you asked to be on my podcast, not once, not twice, but three times. You wanted on my podcast. The first time, not a problem. You came on, explosive. Bear in mind, I had already done 100 podcasts before you came on my already successful show. Second time, you wanted on three, four months later because you said your stuff was hacked. People were talking shit to young girls. I had you on again to have your peace, have your say. I was always wary of you because if I'm honest, I always knew this day would come. I don't out anyone, but like I says, needs must. Had you on the third time to try and promote a positive message, promote your clothing brand. You've got a kid on the way. I done that. As you can see in the videos that you've just watched there, Dan has been thankful. It was a mutual agreement that he was coming on the podcast. Listen to spread his message, which is great. A message, choose a life, not a knife, that was actually brought in in 2016 by the Met Police. These are facts. So you come up three times. I've had you up to Glasgow four times, three for the podcasts, put you in nice apartments, fed you well. I've had your missus up here with the kids as well, just for a break. So I've had you up here four times. You bring big numbers. I've spoke about that before. You agreed to that. But now you're doing videos saying that I've used you. I've used your videos. Let's get things fucking straight. 
You've come on my podcast. People know you because you came on my platform, not the other way about. I don't owe you a fucking thing. You came on my podcast and people know you from that and your word has spread. You should be happy about that. But you're always out and people, you're a walking contradiction. Someone who's always going about choose a life, not a knife while talking about killing families. Someone who talks about drugs, they're destroying the city, drug dealers are the worst, but yet you buy wheat from drug dealers every single fucking day. I ain't fucking a monk, a saint. I make mistakes every day. And everybody damn outs, turns a nonce straight away, a grass or a gay. But let's face it, surely as fuck you're looking in the mirror when you're saying that shit because there's so much shit about you says about all that, but I'm not going to get into that because I just want to state things clear that your podcasts have been taken down. It's not a conspiracy. It's no conspiracy. Your shit's been taken down because you're talking shit about me. You're saying that I used you when you've just seen the footage here that Darren was happy to come on my podcast. And as for the thing with Marvin, you knew Marvin was coming to the Ayahuasca documentary. You'd spoke to Marvin. We had dinner. Marvin phoned. He says he wanted to join the podcast. I gave you the phone. This isn't a conspiracy. This just happened. You promoted Marvin on my podcast just two or three weeks ago. So I don't see the problem. The, the, the title of the video I put up saying Darn G versus Marvin Herbert, which is nothing, basically. You can see it in the thumbnail. It says best bits. It says best bits. Two of my most explosive podcasts in 2020. I put the clips together. It's a clip of Darn, clip of Marvin, clip of Darn, clip of Marvin, and it's just their best bits. It says it in the thumbnail, best bits. It says it in the title, best bits. You'd already seen this video before you'd done my podcast. You never mentioned that. You've promoted Marvin on my podcast. You've spoke to him on the phone, and now it's a mad conspiracy as if we're conspiring against you. Now you put a thing on Twitter also saying that I gained 100,000 followers from you. You haven't even got 100,000 followers yourself. I've got over half a million. That is irrelevant. You saying that, that I've gained 100,000 from your podcast is a discredit for me and my team, the fucking work that we put in daily. I release two podcasts per week. Fucking two. It ain't easy, but I do it. I've got a whole mixture, I guess, explosive podcasts. Yes, yours was explosive, I give you that. But it ain't fucking what's made my show. It ain't what's made me. You're putting posts out saying that I've gained from you. Fair dues. But I think it's kind of a mutual agreement. People come on my podcast to tell their story. I give them the platform to do so. I believe I'm, the, I'm a good interviewer that I guide them through a story. You've been on many other podcasts before and you've not reached those numbers. Reason being is because I wasn't fucking sitting at the other side of the mic. And that's not to blow my own trumpet. It's because I believe I'm the best at what I do. So you put these posts on Twitter. I never butt it because I, I couldn't understand why you were mentioning me. But maybe it's because you have your own podcast starting soon. Maybe because you know my name is Clout. You know, you mentioning my name, it will hit headlines. People will talk about it. But again, what all that shit? It's just negative drama that it's all bullshit. You put a post out two days ago saying you would never out me. I never replied to that either because I thought, fuck this, man, it's a new year. I can't be annoyed with all the negativity. But it is what it is. You've done what you've done. Your podcasts are down. They're all on private. Only reason these podcasts will get put back on if I get an apology. As simple as that. You talk about your message and you want to promote it. My podcasts were doing that for you. My podcasts were making you a crust by selling your clothing brand. But now you want to talk shit. That's all you fucking do is just talk shit. So I'm here to respond and I'm fucking respond right. I ain't talking shit. People who follow me know. Listen, you're going to talk and people will listen. Some assholes will listen. But you don't state facts. These are facts. And that's fair. You, you can come up. I know you're going to do responses yourself and come back. He's fucking this. He's a nonce. He's a grass. He's, he's gay. Fucking get a grip. Because you say it to everybody else. It's like the boy who cried wolf. That's all it is. You're going to say enough shit and people are just going to stop listening to you. I was all for helping promote your message, supporting you. I have supported you. I was taking you to an ayahuasca documentary. Would have done that. You knew the names that were coming. Marv's name was there. You knew all this. So I don't get where this has came from. I think your paranoia has led you to this, I believe. Or maybe it's a wee agenda behind you. But I had to respond today because I'm not taking that pish. I find it very disrespectful and I'm 
And if I'm honest, I'm kind of hurt by it. I didn't think I would have to do this, but I did genuinely believe that Dan would do what he's done. This is what he does. He does it to everybody, pushes everybody away, and that's fair enough. Now, you talk about me using you and making money. Every one of your podcasts, aren't, none of them are monetized. Everyone has a little yellow flag. None of them are monetized because of the, the stuff that's in them, because of the shit that you speak. None of them get monetized. So I don't make money from your podcast. And even if I did, so fucking what? I spend money to get you up here. That is what it is. But this is just a short video to show you what Dan was like in part three. And that's that. It's a, my podcast will continue to fly. As of next week, I'll still be, I'll be back to releasing two per week. And that's it. I'm not here to tarnish anybody. People come on my show, I start their own podcast and I will help those people. It's as simple as that. I don't know if there's a bit of jealousy there involved. I just don't know. And frankly, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Because I know what I'm building. I know what I'm creating. And I'm doing that through hard work. I don't do these stupid videos. I find it schoolboy stuff. People doing videos and live feeds. For me, that's childish. That's not the way it should be. But people deal with things differently. I felt as if I had to respond. I've responded. This will be the first and last. I will speak about it. And I'll move on. My two podcasts get released per week. Dan's talking about things that why not speak. I hate Scotland. Look at my logo. It's got a Scottish flag in it. Why not expose the stuff in Glasgow? I've had many paedophile hunters on. I've had the guy talking about Govan Hall last week. It's just absolute garbage just to try and tarnish my name. But fuck it. It is what it is. People who are real, no real. I think you're full of shite. I'm going to be honest. I did respect you to a certain degree because I thought you were trying to change. But... Your videos show me that you don't want to change. You want to get in schools, but yet you speak with that vile fucking tongue. So, I'm going to leave it at that. That's my opinion. People can take what they want out of it. I had to fire back. I don't want to do this stuff because I want to leave positive messages. And I want to show people that people can make changes and create a platform. That's why I'm helping other podcasters out because there's a crust to be made in this. People can, and it's therapy as well, sitting, talking to people. So I will help people and I'll continue to help people until they fuck me over. So the podcasts have been took down for that reason that I'm using them for views when it's clearly not the case. He stated in the live video yesterday that he used me more. I only had them on the platform because he asked. And that's what it is. So take what you want out of it. For me, I'll be moving on. This is the kind of shit that you need to go through. But I'm a man. Like I've stated before, I will bend a break for no one. It's, that's not just to act tough, that's just fucking facts. And now here I am, doing this video. Quick response. For me, it's done. Back to two podcasts per week and back to taking over the podcast game. It's as simple as that. I hope everyone has a lovely new year. And sorry that the first video is a negative one, but trust me, the videos that I've got coming are next level stuff. So thank you for everybody who shows love and support. And the negative people, well, that's always going to happen. But... Sending love, take care, God bless.